Hey, Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host, Shahzeb, signing in. We're back with another video, guys. In this video, we will be discussing XDC Network, unlocking enterprise innovation. It's going to be an interesting one, guys, so make sure to watch till the end. And folks, for those of you who are new to the channel, we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff, then subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon. So do check that out as well, only if you're interested. And folks, keep your assets safe. And for that, you guys can check out the Crypto Growth exclusive discount offer on Decent. Decent is convenient, safe, and and secure you can check out their biometric wallet which has got a phenomenal $50 off and you can also check out their biometric wallet 2x package guys which has got an astonishing $129 off only if you follow the link in the description box below by the way folks decent supports 3000 plus of your favorite coins and tokens and it supports 50 plus blockchain mainnets including our favorite xdc network guys i personally prefer storing the assets in a cold hardware wallet so do check out decent and be safe anyways guys now let us look into the price and chart of uh, xdc at the time of the recording and let's see what it has been up to lately guys so finally guys in the daily xdc is in the green it is up 3.85% uh, uh, for the day. It went as low as 0.02945, as high as 0.0312. Still on its way up. Let's hope that it uh, goes uh, above these resistance level uh in the uh, in the last month as well i'm going to be showing you uh by the way in the last seven days as well xdc is up 8.65 percent uh so after the bloodbath we are finally seeing some positive positive uh, price action the three cent mark has been reclaimed the three cent remains a really crucial uh, support level for XDC in the last month uh, though XDC is down 10.94 percent but it, it is on its way up to test these resistance levels 0 0.033 I think it will go up and test this let's hope that it breaks uh, breaks through that uh, through it easily but it might consolidate it can happen but uh, overall guys in the last year uh, we've seen that uh, a crucial support was broken but uh, let's hope that this was a false breakout we've been talking about this as well uh, i really think that sometimes the, when the price uh, basically breaks these levels uh, it goes back up and reclaims that in no time uh, due to it being a false breakout so let's hope that this is the case in in terms of xdc because overall guys in the in the all-time chart we've got a lot of support levels in these in these areas guys and in my opinion three cent three and a half cent these are really crucial levels guys 0 0.032 0 0.031 0 0.03002 three cent to three and a half cent guys crucial support levels xdc has the potential to re uh, break through these resistance levels and beyond because of the fundamentals such as these guys check this out uh, this was reposted by zinfin official x handle atul kekare simplifying the recent announcement about enterprises getting access to free tech integration and unlimited pilots if they have ownership of 50 million xdc's guys so check this out unlocking enterprise innovation this is an article let's look uh, at what this article is saying by the way this is from atul kekare uh, himself by the way guys so this is awesome co-founder right the xdc network looking to fix real world problems with xdc and fx fxd and other uh, xdc related platforms so check this out unlocking enterprise innovation the strategic significance of xdc networks new a recent announcement guys so what is this the recent what is the recent announcement guys the recent announcement by the xdc trade network marks a transformative moment for enterprises looking to delve into the burgeoning field of real world asset tokenization this strategic uh, initiative is poised to significantly reduce the entry barriers for companies aspiring to explore and innovate within the blockchain space. Guys, uh, these companies that want to basically be become a part of blockchain, 
they want to make their life a, 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 a easy, guys. They want to lower the costs, lower the barriers, and make things a bit easier for themselves, make things simpler. So this is what XDC wants to do for them, guys. They, they want to uh, they basically leverage the robust capability. They want to leverage the robust capabilities of XDC network for their own benefit, guys, for their own good. So check this out, facilitating access to blockchain innovation. The core of this announcement lies in the provision that enterprises demonstrating ownership of 50 million XDC through regulated custodians can access unlimited pilot projects and free technical integrations. This is great. This policy is not just a facilitative measure, but a strategic enabler. So this is not just uh, to facilitate it, but guys, this is a really good long-term strategy for these enterprises to uh, get acquainted with this network and what it is all about by setting the ownership threshold the xdc network is ensuring that only serious and capable players engage this is awesome no not the people who want to pass their time not the companies that want to pass their time and just uh, waste the time of xdc which enhances the quality and viability of the projects undertaken so this is cool furthermore economic and technical synergies from an economic perspective, the cost benefits are substantial. Guys, any business, any business in the world, any in the, any company in the world, world even any global financial uh, platform wants to lower the costs and increase the benefits. So basically, the cost benefit analysis is a part and parcel of any financial decision any financial policy making so this is the first step guys any business wants to be as cost effective as possible so uh, so typically technical development and operational costs for blockchain projects can soar above two million dollars however by acquiring 50 million xdc approximately 1.5 to 1.7 million dollars enterprises can significantly offset these costs so guys this will increase the buying pressure for xdc as well if they buy xdc basically if they acquire 50 million xdc i mean this is awesome guys this not only makes financial sense but also aligns with strategic business objectives by locking in future liquidity and securing a stake in the network network's growth awesome the Council Management Committee for the Future XDC Network Enterprise Foundation. We have been exploring the establishment of an enterprise level foundation in the most suitable jurisdiction, considering locations such as ADGM, DIFC, and Switzerland. By the way, guys, uh, talking about jurisdictions and suitable jurisdictions, uh, we get we can decipher and decode an important point over here, guys. Talking about USA serious projects and good projects would want places that are uh, th that are feasible guys so usa has to basically uh, sort out its regulatory framework its regulatory uh, landscape as soon as possible guys because these other countries they are gaining a, an upper hand so any project that wants innovation they would like to basically uh, go to states that are much more innovative and friendlier to innovation the council members will work closely with various regulators and government agencies xdc network teams are already involved in prestigious committees so check out the names of these committees guys i mean they are uh, the names are uh, uh, the part and parcel of what xdc stands for and it is basically rubbing shoulders with these giants guys look at this itfa the International Chamber of Commerce, ICC, the UN, guys, it doesn't get any better than this. The UN and the World Economic Forum, guys, this is the hub of uh, finance man managing, despite its uh, drawbacks and if you like it or not, the decisions that they've taken, uh, you can... Uh, there uh, there can be uh, various opinions on the UN, World Economic Forum, International Chamber of Commerce. But guys, we cannot ignore that these are the linchpin, the cornerstones, the backbone of the legacy systems, the legacy financial systems, the traditional system. So uh, we want in, if you want innovation in terms of blockchain, if you want innovation in terms of uh, transforming finance, uh, XDC certainly needs to rub shoulders with these systems and integrate it or basically try to collaborate 
So check this out. Managing these relationships at a council level is more efficient and cost effective than having individual companies handle them. Obviously, if any individual company handles them, it will be uh, much more costly. And if XDC network, a council of theirs, uh, tries to negotiate with them or uh, basically talks with uh, with their representatives, uh, it will be worth but, um, potentially saving millions of dollars in costs as well. So this is awesome as well. The XDC governance note, guys, in proposals presented a few years ago, the XDC network team introduced the concept of an enterprise governance node. This node allows participants to not only validate transactions, uh, so this will not only validate transactions, guys, but also have a significant role in core decision-making processes related to the XTC network. So obviously, uh, making decision-making a lot more, a lot easier, and uh, basically, it, it's going to be uh, the it's going to be involving the government as well. And its real-world asset initiatives, ownership of 50 million XDC can be seamlessly transitioned to an XDC network, a governance node. So basically, if uh, these companies own 50 million XDC, they can transition to an XDC governance node, node as well to uh, give their insights. This is a huge one, XDC liquidity. While the XDC network has excelled in processing ISO 20022 payments, digitizing and tokenizing trade finance, and tokenizing gold and other real world asset pools essential to global trade finance markets, liquidity in XDC itself has been lacking, guys. Everyone is, has been talking about liquidity, that liquidity is lacking in XDC. This was primarily due to regulatory uncertainties that prevented direct proposals to institutional investors. However, times have changed with the approval of Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs and ETPs. Institutions can now acquire these assets through legitimate means. So guys, regulatory regulators worldwide, including FCA, VARA, and MAS have approved several entities to legally acquire digital assets for institutional customers. So this approval is a game changer for XDC as well, and it's going to be increasing liquidity uh, as well. This is a slow and gradual process, guys. This is a long-term engagement. This is a project that is here for the long term. So long-term institutional engagement. We are grateful to the cryptocurrency community for providing the initial momentum necessary to embark on a project of this magnitude. So look at this, guys. The pricing of meme coins and more established cryptocurrencies, XDC, XRP, and XLM, specifically for XDC, there seems to be a sentiment within the community suggesting that they have extended all the support they can, and it is now crucial for XDC to attract real institutional users who can utilize the network at scale. So the time of uh, XDC will come. This is basically the end game. It will come. Uh, for me, the end game is, guys, uh, a decade or two i think that these will take this will take time if we invest in the real world it we wait decades uh if a grandfather father had taken a property for their grandsons they would have waited two to three decades but guys we are basically our mindset is ruined and when we want uh, we want uh, uh, to get rich quick so we are spoiled but guys xdc network is there for the long run and i really think that it has a huge potential guys so check this out as we move forward the integration of real world assets with blockchain through the xdc network will most will likely become a benchmark practice heralding a new era of digital finance and commerce so guys what do you guys think about xdc network is it unlocking enterprise innovation i would really like your opinions do hit the comment box below and let the community know anyways guys this was it for the video if you liked it make sure to like share comment subscribe and hit the notification icon if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems and you can also support the channel by becoming a patreon so do check that out like i always say in the end until next time stay blessed and stay tuned thank you very much everyone